Good evening, my name is Adrian Kennard and I work for Andrews and Arnold. And I just want to explain some of the, quite frankly, stupidity in the investigatory powers bill that's going through the Lords at the moment. It is somewhat crazy and one of the key things about this is something called end-to-end -end encryption. Now, the idea of end-to-end -end encryption is that two people can communicate and the system that provides that communications ensures that only the two people, each end of the communication, are the ones that can see that communication. No one in between can ever see it. And this is a key security measure for anybody to have privacy. The problem is where a company provides a system, a solution, to give its customers, its users, end-to-end -end encryption. And there are lot, lots of them about. Um, iMessage, uh, WhatsApp now I believe, um, FaceTime, uh, even uh, Facebook uh, now have end-to-end -end encrypted messaging system. So there's lots of ways of doing this, many of them provided by people outside the UK. Now the IP bill, as it's going through the Lords at the moment, will allow the government to put secret orders on anyone offering a communication system. And this isn't just internet providers, this is those software vendors. So if Facebook were a UK company, they would be subject to one of these orders. In fact, even though they're not in the UK, they could be subject to such an order, it's just that we really don't have the jurisdiction to enforce it on somebody outside the UK. So someone in the UK offering a solution might be subject to a secret order and the order is what's called a technical capability notice. And this means that they have to have a system in place so that if they get an order later to intercept communications, they can. And this can affect the design of the systems they offer. So even if they offer systems that they claim are end-to-end -end communications, the government could insist that they secretly change those systems so they aren't, so that they can decode the messages in future. Now, obviously, this is intended, well, I say obviously, how is it intended to catch criminals and terrorists? It isn't really. It, it makes no sense for that purpose. Um, it doesn't do that job. Criminals and terrorists can completely legally operate any end-to-end -end encryption system they wish, whether it's homemade, based on open source software, based on a system provided by someone outside the UK, or, you know, heck, even pen and paper and dice can be used to provide such an encryption system. And that is legal under this new bill, if it becomes law. So that's all legal. So what's not legal? Well, what's not legal? Well, it will be if a UK company gets one of these orders, they can't legally offer an end-to-end -end encryption system. And anyone buying from a UK supplier, well, they have to assume they're secret orders. After all, they're secret. So they can't reliably buy any encryption system from any UK supplier. So it's all of the law-abiding citizens, the normal people, not the criminals or terrorists, who are suffering because they can't buy from UK suppliers without the risk of what they're buying being compromisable by criminals. And those UK suppliers can't sell things. Um, in fact, they have to shut up shop and move outside the UK if they want to have any credibility at all for selling crypto systems. And that's the effect of the bill. As it's worded now, it's not going to help criminals, terrorists, anyone. I mean, heck, um, there's a thing called a Tor browser, if you've not heard of it. That will encrypt everything you're doing. Um, there is end-to-end -end encryption as standard on a wide variety of applications, iMessage just being one of them. It's not based with a UK company, so they're not going to bow down to a UK technical capability order. Uh, I think technically it's run by, uh, I think iMessage is run by a company in Luxembourg, Apple in Luxembourg. So they are just going to ignore any such order. Why would they take any notice? It's outside the UK. So there's lots of ways anybody, normal people and terrorists and criminals can communicate secretly. The problem is we hurt industry. We hurt the UK industry. We hurt any UK company trying to sell any sort of encryption system because they cannot be believed. They can be subject to secret orders. It's bad. And that's what we get with the new bill. Bad news and no help to fighting terrorists, fighting criminals. So that's what we all voted for in our democratic system. We have to live with it if it goes through into law.